to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to create the animated expanding search box using jQuery. Look at the final demo, in which we can see the list of the icons in row and a hover effect to the icons. And whenever we click the search box, we see the hidden search box is expanded. And we can toggle the expanding of the search box. When we resize the browser window to the certain value, the width of the icons and expanding field is decreased, so that it becomes flexible to the mobile versions. For demo files, you can visit my GitHub account where you can download the files or you clone them to your desktop. I'll drop the link to my GitHub account in the description, please check it out. Let's get started with HTML structure, first, Create the wrapper development with the container in it. And inside the container, create the five icon developments. And add the search box development with an input field in it. Let's include the Font Awesome icons. First, open the Font Awesome website, and open the Get Started link in New Tab. Then include the CDN link in the head section of the HTML structure, so that we can access the Font Awesome icons. Next, open the Icons link, and search for the icons. Just see how I'm going to include them into our HTML structure. the CDN link and Font Awesome link below this video. Check it out. Let's open the HTML structure in the browser. Now let's get started with CSS, by including its link in the head section of the HTML document. Use the box sizing property and border box value to it, so that the padding values are included in the width, 
I'll explain about the box sizing property later in this video. Add the background color to the body. Place the wrapper div element, horizontally in the center, by setting its position value to absolute, which is relative to the body and set the top value to 50%, remove the negative margins using the translate method. Set the 100% width in padding. Now let's see how box sizing property works, remove the box sizing property, and see, we can observe the horizontal scroll at the bottom of the window. Let's inspect and see, why the scroll bar is coming, we have set the 100% width and 10 pixels of the left and right padding. Here the total is 1536 plus 20 pixels of the padding, which is not included into the width, so we are getting the horizontal scroll bar. Now let's put back the box sizing property and see, what's going to happen. Notice now, the 20 pixels of the padding is included into the width of 1536. Now style the container, by setting the max width to 500 pixels, here max width does the magic, by making the container responsive. Whenever we resize the window, set the 50 pixels of the height, and using auto margin value, place the container horizontally in the center. In this demo, it's going to use the CSS Flexbox, to float the child elements in one row. Give white background color, 5 pixels of the border radius and set the transition effect for the smooth effect. Now style the icon items, by setting the 60 pixels of the width, position value to the relative, so that we can control its child items, here icons are the child items of its child. Now style the input field, by setting the 200 pixels of the width. One hundred percent of the height, padding. background color, and use the outline property to remove the blue background around the input field. Set the hover effect to the icon items. Add 
the two unique classes to the first and last child elements, so that we can target them specifically, and change the border on hover effect. Place the icons in the center of the div elements, by setting its position value to absolute. And set the 50% of the top and left properties, and to remove the negative margins so the translate method of the transform property. Now change the input fields, width from 200 pixels to 0 pixels, and remove the padding as well. As we remove the 200 pixels, so we have to change the total width of the container as well. So change it 300 pixels which is 500 pixels minus 200 pixels. Now whenever we click the search box, the width of the input field, should be 200 pixels and container should be 500 pixels. In this way, we can achieve the expanding toggle effect. First, include the jQuery CDN link in the HTML structure. Then write the code. Now when we click the icon, a toggle active class is added to the input field. Now by targeting the input and active classes, set the 200 pixels of the width and padding to the input field.
and also add the one more toggle active class to the container, set its max width to 500 pixels. Now write the media acquires for below 500 pixels. Thank you for your attention, I hope you enjoyed the video, so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ask me anything in the comments section, see you in another video.